Hi friends, I'm Christian Peverelli. I'm the founder and CEO of We Are No Code. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how no code is really disrupting the early stages of building startups, as well as product development overall. I'm gonna start off by giving you a little introduction of myself. Then I'll talk about what no code is and how it's relevant, so why it's actually incredibly disruptive. We'll then talk about what is now possible with the power of no code, and then we're gonna get into what that sort of means for you. So as I mentioned, my name is Christian Peverelli, and I am actually a serial entrepreneur with an exit. I've also been a startup trainer. I've been the director of a pre-accelerator program here in Los Angeles. We've trained over 100 startups that have gone on to raise more than $40 million and have gotten into accelerators like 500 startups, Techstars, Y Combinator, etc. While I was actually going through hundreds of applications every six months, I really realized that there was a problem in the way that people were approaching the earlier stages of building. And I really got increasingly frustrated with seeing a lot of startups spending hundreds of thousands of dollars only to build products that no one really wanted. It's a big problem and I'm now here to tell you why no code is really gonna be a solution to a lot of those things. So what is no code? Well, no code is actually also called visual programming and it's simply just a different way of building product. So if we look at the history of coding, this is what it looks like. The way that we actually interact with computers is all using ones and zeros. The way we were able to communicate with computers back in the day is using these punch cards that you can see on the left hand side, as well as these large computers, presumably the MacBook Air of the 1800s, to be able to actually feed those ones and zeros manually into the computer. We then pretty much realized that dealing with these ones and zeros manually was not a good idea, and that's when we started inventing coding languages. And so as you know, there's a lot of different coding languages and it was all about interpreting those ones and zeros. But over time we realized that that was also something that was incredibly tedious to do. And that's where no code steps in, which is really a visual layer on top of the code that allows you to drag and drop functionalities and build incredibly powerful software products without actually having to learn how to write individual lines of codes or programming at all. So that really changed the game. So why is no code so disruptive? Well, it really comes down to three different things. The first one is that it's incredibly fast to build with no code. So for a solution that would maybe take six months to a year, you can do that within eight weeks with no code solutions. The second important point is that since with no code, one person is actually doing the job of three, which is sort of dealing with the front end, building the back end, and also the middleware, the cost is a lot lower. So the price that it's really gonna to cost to develop with no code tools is gonna to be a third or a quarter of the price, if not less. And if you actually build it yourself, we're talking about hundreds of dollars, and we'll get more into that when we show a couple of examples. The third reason why it's really gonna change the game is that it is so easy to learn compared to coding. So when you pick up a no code tool, you basically learn how to become good at it within a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, but you'll get the basics in a couple of days. Whereas if you try to learn how to code to build software products, it's gonna take you two, three, maybe five years to become good at coding. So you can imagine how these benefits are really gonna revolutionize the way that we do things moving forward. And as Jason Kalkanis says in this awesome quote about no code, Startups being able to get to year two with $250,000 in revenue without ever having a developer is the greatest unlock I can think of right now for our economy and for entrepreneurship. So for those of you who don't know Jason, he is a notorious investor as well as a repeat entrepreneur who has built massive companies and who runs large investment syndicates. So when most people think about no code and building software with no code, they think of platforms like Wix, Shopify, and Squarespace. These are great platforms, but they only really allow you to build uh, websites and e-commerce platforms. We all know that they're not very customizable and they're highly templatized. And so we really moved into this whole new generation of tools that allow you to build much more complex solutions. There are now over 30 to 60 no-code tools which are well-funded, including Bubble, Webflow, Zapier, Airtable, um, MemberStack, and the list goes on that allow us to build way more complex software solutions. So here we're really talking about platforms like Amazon, a marketplace, like Upwork, like Airbnb, being able to build Tinder, productivity tools like Slack, social networks like Twitter or like Facebook. 
And I'd like to take a couple of minutes to get into a couple actual case studies that are going to really exemplify the power of no code way better than I can explain it to you. The first quick case study I want to show you is actually Nadim, who built a platform called Nuage, which is like a luxury Airbnb. He built it using no code and was able to actually bootstrap it to five million dollars in annual revenue. And the tool set that he used were the ones that you can see right below. The second example that's very powerful is actually Danny. She actually quit her job and didn't really have a plan B. Um, she started how to learn some no-code tools and within eight weeks she had actually built a full product which was scribbly.io uh, and then over the next 12 months she launched it, released it and has been able to bring it up to $20,000 in recurring revenue all built without writing a single line of code and using the tools that you can see below here as well. So you really get a feeling for how quick um, you're able to build solutions and the fact that you can do it without having any technical skills is really pretty mind-blowing. And then there's this last example which really exemplifies what you can do with no code. So if you go to notrealtwitter.com, you can see it today. Um, essentially, this is a complete replica of Twitter using only no code tools. And it was built within four days by a non-technical founder and it cost him under a hundred dollars. And it's really incredible. You can actually create an account, you can tweet, you can retweet, you have DMs, you also have your own feed. It really is pretty mind-blowing what this guy built. Well, here are a couple other examples of uh, successful no-code companies. So the first one is Dividend Finance. They actually raised $300 million and have processed over $1 billion in loans. Um, a second example is actually follow-up edge that scaled to thirty thousand dollars in monthly revenue within six months and then there's plateau a fully no code solution that was actually accepted into y combinator so if you haven't been mind blown by what i've just said let's talk about what the implications really are for the different sets of stakeholders or individuals so for non-technical founder no code basically means that a you don't need to hire expensive developers to get your product built B, you don't need investors any longer because you don't need to pay expensive developers so you can get started with just a thousand dollars and you no longer need to wait for a technical co-founder to be able to get started. So those three things are really going to revolutionize um, the world of entrepreneurship in an earlier stage. Now the implications for aspiring developers or people who want to learn how to build products or how to code, the implications are that you can learn this within only a matter of weeks instead of spending years of your life learning how to code. Coding is really not for everyone, but with no code and making the whole experience a lot more visual and funner, it is really way more adapted to the average human being. So what does this mean for business owners? Well, as everyone knows, technology is becoming an increasing part of every single company. Every company is a software company and everybody has an expense which goes towards IT and development. The implications here are that we can reduce that fourfold and also empower your current employees who maybe don't have technical skills to be able to get a lot more done. And moreover, the implications of this on a globally level, and yes, this is my beautifully drawn globe, <laughs> is basically that we're gonna go from 0.3, not even 1% of the population who knows how to build digital products or software, going all the way to 20% because now we're enabling this entire non-technical segment of the world to be able to learn how to build very robust software products. We're talking about 1.5 billion people. That is larger than both China or India. So we understand the visual programming or no code is really going to take over the market and it's going to change the way that everyone is doing things. So right now it's a competitive advantage to learn how to no code, but in the future it's really gonna be what we teach in every single school and education system. So our aim at We Are No Code is to empower the next generation of digital creators and that really starts with you. So we have a course called The No Code Startup and it teaches people not only how to build products because we know that that's one side of it, but we also teach people the strategies on how to figure out what it is exactly that you have to build and how you can actually launch that and monetize that moving forward. So I hope that this video really helped you understand the implications of no code, what it is, and why it's interesting for you to look into it now. If you'd like to learn a little bit more, or if you'd like to apply for the program, I'd encourage you to check out wearenocode.com. And I wish you all a great day. Take care.